Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. In Moto 15 version 1, Moto's new path tracing renderer, Impath, now supports shadow catching. To demonstrate how this works, let's take a look at this scene here. In this scene, looking through the perspective view, you can see I've got this HDR of a kitchen in the environment, and I've got these nice blocks here, and I've got a camera. If I look through the camera, I'll see the blocks there sitting on the ground. If I turn on this plane right here, I'll use this for my shadow catching. The plane has a mask in the shader tree, and inside that mask, I'm going to put its own shader. So under special shader, this plane now has its own shader. I now need to drag this entire mask above the base shader to make sure the shader gets computed properly. If I select the shader and scroll down a little bit, I'll see a slot for alpha type. That's set to opacity by default, but I can set that to shadow catcher. You'll notice the plane disappears in the viewport here. What this does is it tells Empath to only render the shadow into the alpha channel of the plane. You can press F9 for a quick test render. When the render finishes, you'll see a nice subtle shadow underneath the blocks grounding them to the background image of the floor. If you look at a render without a shadow catcher, you'll notice that the blocks look like they're floating above the floor with no shadow grounding them to it. You can do an AB compare between the two images by selecting them both in the render window and then dragging the vertical bar left or right. Here you'll see the shadow catcher here. If I drag to the right, you'll see the version with no shadow catcher. If you like, you can also turn on a light. Here I have a directional light, and I can see the shadow here in the advanced viewport. If I want, I can adjust the angle of the shadow by selecting a rotation channel of the light, pressing C for channel hall, and dragging in the viewport. So it looks, yeah. Looking at the shadow from the cupboards here, I think we have the right angle. I can also adjust sort of the height of the angle by adjusting the y-axis rotation. Something like that is fine. And then again, press F9 to do a test render. Here we see a combination of the shadows from the global illumination, these subtle shadows under the blocks here, as well as the larger directional shadow from our light. Again, if you compare this to not having a shadow catcher in the scene, there is a very significant difference. No shadow catcher, shadow catcher. Yum, yum.